just bought a new rain jacket. Uh, all right, I was thinking about anger. And uh, I was thinking about that because someone said uh, earlier today uh, that they sometimes yell and hit inanimate objects when they're upset. Uh, and actually, on a, on a side note, I see people actually talk to inanimate objects an awful lot. And I, I know I've kind of been going on about people talking too much, but sometimes I think that they just like, just can't stop talking. They don't have anything to say, so they just talk to an inanimate object. Like, oh, it looks like it's processing, processing, processing. Boy, it's taking forever. Do, 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 do. Ten, nine, eight. Man, it still says processing. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> that makes me angry. Um, but anyway, I was the, so the person that hits and yells at an inanimate object says, well, that's better than uh, hitting and yelling at people. I'm like, well, it's kind of the same thing to me. I mean, no, it's not, of course, because, you know, it's a, uh, it's venting an emotion, a signal, uh, in a physical manner. Um, it's not necessary to do that. Like, I was watching somebody actually practice some gymnastics, and uh, after every kind of miss, like, it wasn't working quite right, they did, like, a, a physical demonstration of frustration. They acted out the emotion, and they did it over and over and over. I was just like, try again. You know, just stop. The emotion is a signal. You're frustrated. The answer is you practice more, and what you're doing is practicing, so keep practicing. Don't practice being the embodiment of an emotion. Emotions aren't thoughts. Emotions aren't thinking. Emotions are signals. I really wonder why people don't understand that. And look how beautiful this is. All right. Oh, and then someone else once told me, uh, well, if some, if this or if what I did or said makes you angry or something like that, or if, uh, um, then it must be true. You know, like, because you wouldn't get angry, uh, you know, unless, you know, like, I scored a hit on you. And I'm like, well, sometimes the reason why you feel anger is because someone's behaving in a way that is upsetting. Um, and if the way I'm expressing my anger is to say, I disagree with you. The way things are is, and actually at one point in time we were talking about math of all things. Like, I could Google that. Like, you know, we don't need to argue about right and wrong. You don't need to tell me the reason why uh, it looks like I'm angry or frustrated uh, is because you're right. The reason I'm angry and frustrated is it seems like you just want to argue about something. And arguing about one plus one doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, okay, so a couple times I've seen somebody do something, and I think the reason why they get angry um, is because they feel like they're getting caught at something. Um, but the thing is, like, so I have trouble understanding why you would do something and not, like, have a reason or just, like, yeah, man, that's what I do. It's, um, but, like, a couple times I've walked up to somebody doing something, and I'm like, Hey, you know, actually, what you're doing there, um, I think why you're doing that is to have this happen. But it, that's not actually happening. I, I could prove it to you if you like. I could show you. Um, and they get angry. It's almost, I was like, are you afraid that, like, there's something that you've been doing for years and years and years, and I just noticed it, and I could just say, hey, look, that's, that's absolutely 100% ineffective. Like, you know, it's like... <laughs> Somebody said somebody was trying to unlock something and they tried it like four or five times and someone says uh, try jiggling the door and they unlocked it and they're like hey jiggling the door works I'm like actually trying it five times worked <laughs> jiggling the door doesn't do anything <laughs> you think you vibrated the tumblers I'm like try it again no it's not working jiggle the door still not working keep trying it oh it worked that time did you jiggle the door no it just that just it takes a long time to get that thing to respond. <laughs> you might as well whistle. Um, you know, unless jiggling the door works every single time, and then if I said jiggling the door doesn't work, and you're like, watch, I could demonstrate that. I'm like, oh, it does work. 
But if you get really, really angry, yet you refuse to try it the sixth time, because deep down you know actually it's not going to work. You're just happy that it opened. You say, oh, it's because I jiggled the door. It's like when you, someone try, can't open a jar and then they hand it to you and you just open it right away and they say, I loosened it for you. <laughs> anyway, it's no need to get angry. Um, so I'm starting to realize that like, a bunch of people are pointing out that those responses aren't about, it's not about logic or uh, our thought. It's about like you're just dealing with uh, a jerk, somebody that expresses anger a lot and they see no reason to why they should curb their anger. And then, you know, the more they express it, you know. One guy told me, I have a right to get angry. And I said, no, you have a right to feel that anger and then ask questions. And he went, no. <laughs> With his mouth hanging open, probably breathing through it like a Neanderthal. <laughs>